to Florida. All the way from Hawaii on an airplane, I heard, with a cat. Meow, meow. Homeless people, lobbies. You love my cat. Yeah, it won't come out of its little hole, man. I want to... Can you shut that door? Sure. Ooh, this tree looks dry as a doornail. Why don't we why don't we repot this 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 little piece of trash while we're out here? I bet you the roots will fall apart. You don't have to do this, I'm gonna do it. So ask about questions. Some of these look thirsty, man. They do, but we'll make it. So so you're supposed to be like, what's that? What's what, that? What is this? I don't know. What do you think it is? Uh it looks kinda Hey. You got people saying, Hey, hey, yo, what hey. up? Hey friends. Gales and Snardens. A Abel says what's up all the way from Holland. Wow, cool. And then uh, someone else, Bill, says hello. He pulled a Michael Jordan refractor. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friend. We got 16 million viewers. Nice. Now, this is the issue, is I don't have enough soil. That's a really fragile tree. I, I don't even think I can repot it, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's, that's nice new growth. Yeah, it's always hurting. I don't think this is enough soil to give it a new pot. Hello from Chile, says Felipe. Felipe. From Chile. That's a big time, Clark. I think they got crocodiles down there. Clark says he thinks you have crocodiles. Is this the truth? What do you think? We should mix some soil? Talk about our worries? That's uh, a lot of water in that bucket. I pulled out all the Munton Gias. See how the Munton Gias? They're all pulled out. I've been saving up the fruit to freeze dry. There is a 50 gallon Anona Salzmania. We just repotted that the other day. That's a big, big boy pot right there, buddy. That's a real squat. Hey, he says he doesn't have crocodiles, buddy. Wow. Clark said, wow. I think you've got caimans. He says he's got them in Puerto Rico. Maybe you should consider moving where there's crocodiles. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Rock with it, with it. Dang, I need a dolly for this. Yo, Clark. Can you help me drag this? Yeah, the Matosi guys are over there. They're fine. They just don't sell a lot of fruit. You grab the other side of that. This thing is saturated with water, which is probably a good thing. Teamwork to make the dream work. I got our legs, buddy. Isn't this great? Let's go this way. We're like those two, uh, those two uh, Indonesian brothers. Yes. Yes, we're gonna have me and Clark gonna do silent films like those. We're gonna make an underground grow uh, misting booth, <laughs> like a like an Olympic sized swimming pool out of bamboo. Right. We're those two brothers. We're just training and getting our brotherly. We'll, we'll start plenty of cuttings. Yeah, but like every move Mass is produce. every move is timed. You know what I mean? Where we know every move. You have a knife in that pocket? No, I don't. You want to do the Bruce Lee technique with your fingers? I saw you. Do that. I think it's already torn. The bag is already you torn. Do that well. You want to hold that on me? Sure. Let's see what the comments are on these people are saying about my dumb ass. What's up, Gay? Oh, uh, look, it's already pre-torn. Five K. What? Abel said we get five K for each video. Five K. Yeah. Too bad the videos aren't in five K. Freaking two D. Uh, Odyssey does uh, ten twenty four. What's Odyssey? Odyssey is another streaming platform. I gotta figure out something else, yeah, because the, the quality on this one is not so good, and I feel like Twitch would just... And they, they have some kind of super uh, super chat system, too. You me for being, for being a farmer. Well, see, it's this... Odyssey is like the last... It's where all these people that got banned from YouTube and stuff like that. I've been demoted to... Okay, let me tell people the Perlite story. I used to be able to get perlite in a bag like this. See these big bags? Yes. They cost like 12, 13 bucks and they're great. Now I'm forced to buy it in these little shit bags. Yeah. Or a big giant bag. And next yeah. time I'm going to buy the big giant bag. You know how big those bags are? I, I've seen them filled with uh, bone meal. And they're, they're about six feet tall and they got hooks on the top for a forklift. Maybe that will be a good thing because I could use that for something. Can I see that? That's, there? that's a That's a... 
You're that's doing a great job. Well, that's a truckload of perlite, man. Come on. So, does anybody have any questions? Preguntas? I'm not seeing the chat. Uh oh. They're just not asking questions. Oh. You just see a nice picture of. Have you ordered yet, Mac Tom? Mac Tom, you been ordering yet, man? Mac. Man, I, I helped Adam put together a big wholesale order the other day. It's it's the kind of order I used to dream about putting out in Hawaii. <laughs> no, really, Adam. Really? Yeah, I, I never did anything that big. Well, this took me, I've been in the business for years. Right. Okay. Tell, oh, oh shit. Crap, right? yeah, man. Oh shit. What happened? I hope you Yeah. I hit the button. Friends. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay, I heard some crazy noise. It's probably your Tinder alert. <laughs> it was your phone. You have a phone on you? Yeah. I heard your phone. Oh, it's my Tinder alert. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Grinder. So, what I was going to say is, I first. I have, have, have a, have a, uh, they're having a party at Ram Ranch tonight. <laughs> All right, calm it down. Oh, okay. All right, I was talking about, I, I got us there, though. I messed up because you said. Uh, yes. Well, listen, I wish I had one going out like that too. Yeah. But here's how it started. I was in these fruit clubs, right? I would join the fruit club. There, there wasn't really. I didn't. I didn't know about Facebook groups and such. And I was more motivated back then to meet a bunch of people in my area and, and learn a lot. So I would be. A, I would try to go to all the fruit club meetings. All right, meeting all the old the old timers and getting to see all their trees, and that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Well, there was a guy named Doyle. Yeah. I think his name was wait, Doyle Abbott or something like that. I see I'm messing people. Have a good day, snails. Go on. And um, there was people that were in our group. I should know some names. You should say, who are some names? I did. I know, I know. I should know. I'm a scumbag for not remembering. There was a guy named Abe White. Abe White. They were just old timers that were in the Florida area that had trees. What and about what about your plants after? Well, those are people I know real well. But these are people that I didn't know so well that I just barely got to meet them and they passed away. I see. And they had, they had either like veterans that were retired. I'm listening. I was real motivated to get into the fruit clubs when I was about 28 years old. You know? The fruit associations, just so you could network people? There's, yeah, there's like local clubs. And there was an Orlando Tropical Fruit Club I heard about that Larry Schatzer told me. He was like, I founded that club and blah, blah, blah. And I was Is like, Blake Larry's son? Blake Schatzer. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I met Blake. I met Drew, Drew too. He's got another son named Drew. I used to work with Blake, well, Drew more. Blake wasn't around. I worked with Drew. I don't think, I worked with Blake maybe a couple times. At Larry's Nursery? Yeah, I think. I may be wrong. I don't remember. Drew had, or Blake had a friend that, I think it was Blake's friend. And I was hanging out. Anyway, I, I just, whatever. I had a good time. Larry was fun to work with. How, how big was uh, Larry? Same size as this size. property. It seems bigger when you go there. His property spread out real crazy. Yeah. And like there's parts that like he's just let grow. And what kind of rare boys does he have? Big ass Cambuca. Wow. Uh, so really old then? Yeah, he's, old. he's been doing it longer than me. Years longer. 40 year old tree? I bet you his tree's like that, like 35 or something. Wow. Like, like 20, you know? Who knows? Crazy. I don't know, dude. I, I could be wrong on those ages. Yeah, He's sure. Been doing it so long. Twelve people watching. We like this format, Clark. You really bring it all together. We love you here. <laughs> Thank you. 
I feel I feel very comfortable here, Adam. Thank you. You're welcome. Except for when when that one piece of one of the inmates officer here tried to flash his face during the transfer, and uh, I I think a handful of birds that have to be separated from general population. Exactly. The other inmates here want yeah. to just, they want to, it's a gang related thing. They yeah. heard that there is snitch. Actually, five birds. Five birds. They've been labeled as snitches. Yeah. Fred's the number one snitch. You know, he, he, it's like they, they framed him. I want a nice squat pot that's sturdy for this piece of shit. I'm just thinking of my seven. Oh. It's not hot at all. Yeah. It was 96. It's earlier though, Clark. Wow. And then the cloud. Ran away. Oh, man. Uh, okay. So I put some soil in the base. That's a nice upgrade. Yeah, it is. And then this is what I'm worried about. Acid and some microbes. Uh, some other goodies for the soil. Uh, look at look, Yeah, look at that. That's that one. I just repotted that one. That's thread it from a deep pot into that 15. Look how low it is. Let's go look at your other anomalies. Okay. They're everywhere, brother. They're everywhere, man. There's another one that we could put in the bigger pot, actually. I'm going to stop that one. That's an anomaly hybrid. Anomaly. Anomaly hybrid? Yeah, supposedly. That's what the guy told me when he told him. What'd you ask me? Uh, do I want a what? These are like those two Indonesian brothers. Chicken. They should fight each other, but they hang out. They're, they're brothers. They're brothers, but not full brothers. Oh, Half cousins. Cousins. They like each other a lot, though. They're they're double dragon. They look out for each other. Yeah. Here. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So now we're now we're looking for a loss of viewership somehow. I must have said something bad, or maybe the connection got bad. Um. It's really happy. That is happy. <laughs> I'm looking for a pot for that. I guess. You sure, it's ready for a new pot. Oh yeah. Was the connection really bad or something? Not that I was aware of. Yeah, sometimes it's just I get, I, I get boring. They don't, they don't like my uh, cinematography. Maybe not. We got three hard viewers and seven likes. Oh, I just cracked that rake, but seven. Yo, yeah, ye, yeah. It was trash for three minutes. They said. Oh, man. The stream quality was trash for three minutes. Damn, I got beer when I get home. Sorry, friends. It's not your fault. Okay. It's not your fault, Clark. It's my it's, it's, it's here. Right. Well, I should be channeling better signal or some shit. I should be setting you up for success. Uh, uh, setting ourselves up for not moving. The more we move around, the worse it is. You got you got you got five G here yet? Yeah, it, no, it, no. If you lower if you lower the camera, it loses the signal. So you always want to keep it kind of up. But the, if you take it like this, oh, like, I, all right. So you stay where you're at. Yeah. There's some soil in that pot. Now we're gonna take this. Suspense. Let's let's look at this plant here. Is this suspect? <laughs> like that? Yeah. Five G. Close. Okay. If you lower it like that, it'll go, it'll go out. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're better off like that. It, it sucks streaming here, dude. It's, it's really a chore. We're going to get it figured out one day, man. I'll tell you what. You may? Uh, go like Yeah. yeah.
Anyway, it says we have one viewer. I went to Wi-Fi right now, so I may, um, we may delete this video. And on my promise is to just delete this. We tried so hard. We tried, dude. Let's try it. Can you help me lift this? I think that, that may split. It was the Indonesian brothers comment that got us. No way. I think so. No. Yep, Zuckerberg. What's wrong with the, those guys? They're construction animals. We compared ourselves to them, and that was a sin. Cult, oh, cult, get out of here. Cultural appropriation. We aren't even on Zuckerberg's platform. But he's got control. You like how I rationalize all that shit? Not really. I know. Let's come back over this way. <laughs> Not really. Buckerzerg. There it is. That's where it sits. I don't like, I like it like this, I think. Yeah. I think. Looks good. They're saying the connection is kind of better now. I switched over to, um, I switched We're over. Closer to the house, too. I, I switched to Wi Fi. If we stay in this range, we'd be all right. What is this one, Adam? That is the Carlos hybrid. Uh, not hybrid, it's, it's called Carlos. Let's step that up. Let's try that. Let's grab this monkey. Let's put it in a bigger size. Carlos, what? Just a seedling. These all need bigger pots. So this could take a bigger pot. Uh, what, what's its uh, botanical name? They don't have one. Plenty of SP. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really poor connection. I think we're about to have to mix another batch, but we'll see. We're come, we're coming, we're all coming back. Yeah, they're like, oh, these fuckers are still here. It's not over yet. I guess. Look, look. Flip it around. Put it down. Like, punch it to the ground. Boom. Custom. Custom. I found a new mic stand okay now far. we are looking to put these in larger receptacles let's start with the bigger one first this is a 25 gallon wow that's gonna take up all our soil that's what I'm a big upgrade. maybe we'll do the small one first let me go find a 15 gallon so Clark tell us about your life how was that how was the plane ride? Really bad? Uh, I slept. Slept most of it. Kitty handled it really much. She's so small and it helped her out. I slept, uh, and then I slept at LAX in the airport lobby. Nice. I'm glad that's over, man. That I was, was cool. I was stressed out, like not like anxious, you know, like not knowing when you get here. And I made some new friends. He told me there were some uh, transients. Yeah. Did you see what, oh, they, they all love my kitty, man. They loved your kitty? Yeah. This is the glowing tomato. It gets put with special plants. Oh, I had a shell Yeah. that I did that with. A shell? Yeah, it stayed with Bob to obvious. Nice. Nice root ball on that. Suspect hybrid of some sort. Just straighten it out. Suspect hybrid. Suspect hybrid. Clark's gonna put some air layers on some stuff, huh? Yeah. We're gonna get a video of you doing that. Okay. All right. Don't you think? Unless you got some information, you can't have these young bucks in. You don't no, want. No, it's there's already five thousand people making air layer videos on YouTube. So it's open source at this point. Yeah. Gonna... I, I got some tricks up my sleeve. Ooh, he says he's gonna bless y'all with some jewels, cat. How many viewers you got? Nine. We're back. I I, I use. I use aloe sap instead of rooting hormone. Just kidding. Ooh, he's dropping little fake tidbits. He's teasing now. He's teasing. That was a shot. That was a shot across the bow. It's y'all other air layerers who think you know something with your stupid aloes and honeys and cinnamons. 
right? Uh, you know, I think uh, I, I never tried liquid kelp, and I think that that has some possibility. Because of the auxins and the gibberellins and whatever the hell's, right? No. Oh, what? Maybe maybe it does have natural gibberellins. I think it do. I think it do. Could be. I don't know, though. I really don't now, does this, never know. does this tree, I don't think this one's going to get the orb, the next one, but I said they're temporarily. That one's repotted. Okay. I'm going to just slide it out of the way. Now, I think this may be just enough to do this tree. Maybe we can go into something else than, than this 25 gallon is the trick. If I have another 15, I can still be on the field. Yep, I found a whole, a whole slide. Can that be your code name? Uh, I just called that one. I, yeah. I like Clyde, man. I, I was a little boy at Disneyland in Los Angeles. Clyde, get over taxi, here. The taxi driver was calling me Clyde. Did you just let him do it? Uh, I don't think I care. You'd be like a mix between Drexler and Robinson. I uh, shit in the swimming pool. No, you didn't. I did. They wouldn't let me in. They, they were smoking weed inside the hotel room. And... <laughs> And they're all, no, you can't come in, Sight. It's running. It's one of the gangs. There's this tree we just delivered into a new vessel. That's a Carlos, the yeah, SP Carlos. It's just a variety local that I got from a guy named Carlos. Looks a lot like Grimmel, but it isn't. It hasn't fruited yet. Okay, that's that tree. Yeah, and then this one is the hybrid suspect over here where we don't know exactly what it is. It, it may be like um, Sabra, maybe. We just don't know on this one. It's just something funky that I'm keeping. Looks very interesting. The, the color of the trunk, too. Yeah, nice tannish color. It's real weepy. It's the, almost reddish. But now, this was could be an anomaly hybrid, too, because I had some I tried to make. So I'm just keeping an eye on it. This would have been one from years ago. <laughs> seven viewers, seven likes. There were seven people that cared. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So what do you say? I'm going to drag some of these back to the promised land. Do you think you can drag that one? I like that one to go over here. Yeah. Thank you, Clark. Where? Right where this one is. Yeah. It's the closest, easiest place to get it. I'm running out of space over here. That's that grafted Plinia clausa, and it hasn't been looking so good. It's alive though. is not dead yet. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You got it. You finally are getting it, Clark. That's gorgeous. Okay. But I still would do this, look, just because I'm a, I'm a obsessive. Okay. But you could have left good it there. Spot. It was a good spot. Look at this one I put here. I'm going to scoot this one over. Oh, this one's been grafted and it's taken. Double graft. Nice. I need to sell this one eventually. It was in a video, actually. It's got PDM and Spirito Santensis, but this one's looking real weak. Nice plant. Yeah, I gotta probably put that in a bigger pot. You grab that. Let's hold that up on camera, let's see that. Wow, that's it, you got it. It's just real uneven. Um, <sighs> Did you see this one that I repotted today? Look at the leaves on it. ESALQ seedling. Wow. Doesn't that look... That one too is an ESALQ seedling. ESALQ. Wow, look at the difference. Look at the variation. These look totally different. Mm -hmm. And the new growth is a different color. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, Clark. We're gonna figure it out one day. That just doesn't look happy. That's that Plinia clausa grafted onto um, edulis. Mm. There's the one we just repotted, Salticola. Onto Kambuka? Yeah. Kambuka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Clark knows it all. He's a damn know-it-all now, huh? Some kind of genius, huh? No, it is amazing how much you've picked up, though. You do have picked it up very well, Clark. Yeah. 
Learn from the best, man. <laughs> from the worst. Selling pink crystals online and all that. Yeah, you, tell, you tell the viewers we're doing lines of that? <laughs> that pinkness. It's a nice plant. Yeah, it's an anomaly. Wow, it's yeah, it had fruit on it. I, I don't know if I picked it or it got stolen. You did? Yeah. That would be really painful. You handled that well. I think that's what it, is. it must have been one of the tree, the oak wasps. They don't hurt that bad. I had a tree with fruit on it over here. I wanted to see if it was still. Hmm. I wonder if these are flowering. These look good. That's the um, rocks of pulpa. This one? Three, three of them in a row. Wow. See, the leaf cutter bees have been at work. Let's see in here if there's any flowers. If you look, you'll never see them. But if you just wait, you'll get a fruit one day. I don't see nothing. Wow, my rocks and pulpa didn't look anything like that. There's another one we can check. I've taken a lot of cuttings off of these, too. They'd be bigger if I hadn't grafted them. I like its bushy habit. Yeah, it's got a real bushy habit. No flowers. It's close though, a couple more years I would bet. It's getting close. Kambuka. Kambuka. Saw the squirrel scoping it out. Man. Clark saw squirrel scoping it. That's the one we just put in the new pot. The Carlos. That one. That's the same kind. Oh, okay. Ants got me, Clark. Those stupid ass ants. The fire ant. The little ones. Look at this loop stuff. Yeah. It's a beast. Should have flowers coming. It's flowered before. One of them's a male or makes male flowers. Huh. And this, I think, is one of them. And I, I didn't really graft from it at all. I only did from my confirmed female. I'm hoping they... One of these should have flowers on it. They need more sun. All this shit. There's another one in this pot right here. That needs to go into a big pot. This deep ass pot. Wow, that is a deep pot. Be nice if a PDM flowered. These are ready for 25 gallon pots. Are we out of juice here? I can go make some coffee. Yeah, I think I'm tired too. Coffee. Even Rex. You and Rex is over. We gotta do some shipping, man. Yeah, we gotta do some shipping. Yeah, we gotta do some shipping. And we gotta pull these uh, into the greenhouse, these seeds. Yeah. And then we can plant these trays probably with red Jabba de Cava. I can just use some red jumping cover. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot to do. Okay. We got a lot to do. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah, I think I got stung twice. Not by it. They're probably by some other kind of wasp. No, there's there's two of them there. I'm still streaming, by the way. I'm about to turn it off in a minute, but. I, I think they both got me. So, we're gonna have to try to figure out these international orders, Clark. Okay. Can I drop an email now or not? Like only, should I tell them to email me? And then you don't want to put your email on the stream. Uh, just have me email you and just forward it over to me. All right, so just email me. Is that way you're aware of what's happening? Email me uh, Clark International as the title, and then we'll try to get out to you. Let's put International Clark or Clark International, and we'll see what's, what we can do, what we can run for you. These are some seed orders that I have going out.
read Javity Kava seeds from the website. I made sure Clark gave everyone like about 120, 130 seeds. If you bought 100, everyone got extra, extra, extras in their seed orders. Everybody will be very happy. All right, Mac says, hey, thank you. Hey, Mac. Mac. Working on it, man. Working on it, man. Uh, I'm waiting for, I'm going to do another batch of Jabbity Kaba freeze dried soon. And, um, yeah, I'm waiting to do that for me to get some supplies. happening in the comments man there's nine people here and they're just bullshitting with us clark they're sitting here shooting the shit here we'll set up the camera right here in the damn kitchen they can be a privy to our lifestyle how's the spider mindy says clark they seem fine during the stage of not eating the what the spiders they're not eating i haven't really seen any spiders yeah the ones that i have in the cage oh yeah they're they're doing good yeah isn't this kitchen the place to be, Clark? It works for me. It's like a triangle. I spend a lot of time here. <laughs> I like it. What do we got here for a comment? Thumbs up. <clears throat> it's the weekend, so I'm not making Clark wear a mask in the house. Yeah. I haven't worn a mask since I got off the plane, man. He loves the, the, the lack of masks here in Florida. I don't know what he's talking about. I wish we would all just kind of simmer down. This is how I usually am in the house. Just for my own safety. I was wearing this to places when they required the mask. I was like, I got your mask right here. Going into banks like this. And at the bar, I was buying drinks at the bar with a ski mask on. The, the bartender was all tripped out. I was like, hey, serve me my drinks. I was I was at the bar like this buying drinks. Were you? Yeah, and at the bank opening an account. Opened an account just like this. I so, like, did, so did I, but they screwed up my name. They screwed up his name. He had to go back. Don't mention the bank name, they're gonna they're gonna blacklist me. He's brewing coffee. I'm getting used to his morning noises where he doesn't wake me up or nothing. He just brews coffee. He needs to cook steaks and such. Yeah, you know, I don't, there would be a minimum order for sure because you gotta consider an international order is gonna cost $14, $20 to ship. I don't wanna collect $20 of money into my account and then five dollars for seeds and then ship it it's got to be a ratio there i don't like taking more money for shipping than what the product is worth you understand what i'm saying there's got to be minimums and shit but gotta be fair we're gonna figure it out if he's got if he's got to go to the post office and stay in the line that's going to reduce the chances of of this all coming together I just don't want to see him waiting in line. I don't see him filling out paperwork. What do you think? You think he's going to have to stand in line? Well, I appreciate that, but certain people just don't have that kind of discretionary income to blow on fruit tree seeds. I get it. Dude, I don't even know. I should try to I should try to create a label now. Hold on one second. Let's see if we can do this. I've been buying pants from Europeans. Got the camera all in my face. I was trying to get on the computer here and see. 
if I create a shipment to Europe. Someone uh, who wants plants, Abel, send me your, uh, email me your address really quick. Do you know, and don't put it out here in public, but send me an email with your address. And then I'll see what happens when I try to create a shipment on USPS. We'll do it live. Okay, and I won't show any details. Clark's watching. So sign in. Okay. Um, calculate a price. Let's just go to create the shipment. I'm not calculating prices. I'm creating, I'm shipping right now. Quick tools. Click and ship. Oh, oh, got me. Okay, let's see what regulations, rules, and guidelines they have now. Okay, close this window. All right, I'm going to my email. I haven't got the email yet. We're gonna try to create an international shipping. So we go to, where is the shipping going? Okay, country, Algeria. I think I, I hear myself in the other room, it's tripping yeah, me out. <laughs> Flyingfoxfruits at gmail.com. You've got money. Why do I have money? Oh, someone paid for an item. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I need a, I need an international address to ship to right now. I could just enter something for like the Walmart nearest you. What country is it again? Ne Nederland. First name, Abel. Middle initial. Last name, Lutwig. Whatever, I forget what your name was. Address. They're not going to let me type it in. Deutschland. Someone give me an address to ship to there that I can look up, like the store next to you or something. Hey, what up, PJ? I need the store next to you, man, because e the email's not coming through. What's your zip code? Send it to me. Yeah, send me something to my flying fox fruits. For some reason, the emails aren't coming through. I got Abel. I got you. All right, I got it. I'm not going to share. I've got his street. I've got all of his information now. The street. All right. We're putting in the address. Here goes the street. All right. Now we're going to put in the postcode. It's got letters in the postcode. Is that not disgusting? How are you going to remember that? He's got letters in his postcode. All right. The city is... Okay. I've never heard of a city like that. All right. And then... Uh, he just gave me his first name. I'll put in, yeah, I put a fake last name for him. There's really not a lot of information. They're asking for your phone number. I'm going to put mine. And then, all right, the shipping date would be, let's just say it would be Monday. The weight of it would be less than a pound. It would be, let's say, uh, going to be about 12 ounces the package is not that big i am shipping a gift this is a gift the value of it is only eight dollars uh we are going to be shipping it first class package international select package service 28 dollars is the cheapest one i'm seeing wow 28 dollars it used to be 14 dude it used to be 14. Maybe I did something wrong here, Playboy. Let me try to get a cheaper rate for us here. This is not looking good. What did I do wrong, a Abel? $28 is what I'm being quoted. What have I done wrong? I don't know what I did wrong, homie. That would mean that the minimum order would be about $100. 
you know i don't i don't i don't really see fit to be collecting thirty dollars for shipping an item that costs thirty dollars or even fifty it's gonna be about a hundred dollars man because everybody's got to get their little hand paid out i hope if I can get a cheaper rate, I don't know how to. I don't know how to determine that. Let's see if it's cheaper to some other guy's house. Here, I got Mac now. Let's try him out, man. Let's uh, ship a package here. All right, it's going to. All right, Mac. Plania. And, uh, the, wow, dog, this is some shit. When people send me, uh, woo, the way he, the way he put his address is, like, got me tripping right now. I can't even, I can't even begin. I can't even begin to understand this shit, dog. Some of these countries, when the way that they, they put their shit together is not the way, it takes a little bit, it's making me, woo, let me see, Qatar. I want me to be giving out your personal information that you're in Qatar. Let's see if I can. All right. This is not as easy if it was just going to like some other place because it's got me thinking. Your postal code is. It don't got no postal code, dog. We're, I see a P.O. box number. You ain't got no postal code? This is the kind of shit where people are like, yeah, send it to me. And I'm like, what the? You got a postal code? You got a P.O. box. I see that. No, bro. Qatar cheaper for sure. Yeah, no postcode in Qatar. All right, let's see what it goes down here. Zone. What the fuck is the zone, dog? And the house number? How's it? You got the house number last, the zone, and the street. I don't understand this. You got me. You got me tripping, dog. Zone. I never heard no zone, dog. What is this? Zone 44. House number. Sorry, man. I'm putting your info out there. All right. No more talking, Adam. Just type. I don't know if I'll be able to figure this out. This is beyond my comprehension. Okay, hold up. I'm going to get this. Clark, this is one of these ones you got to learn from. This is hard, man. Yeah, it's a different format. Dog, it's got me. It's got me festered up, man. I can't fathom this. And then where do you put the zone, man? Next to does, the... Does it have a window you for... Uh... Is, international addresses. I'm going to assume... You can the, just copy and paste too. Dude, I don't know. Let's see if this works. I put everything in a place, and it looks like it could work. So that's where it's going. And then we're going to pretend this weighs only... Two it, pounds. Yeah, you know what? I put the weight as 12 ounces for the last package, and that was the issue. I think I could literally make the... the it would... Let me... I got to redo it for Homeboy again. But let me do this one to say it, it weighs four ounces. And it's a gift, and the value is eight dollars seven, and we're gonna see for first class international. So for, okay, fifteen dollars and twenty five cents. So let me try that again, though. Let me try that again for you, homeboy. The other one. I gotta do you again. Uh, try you again, Abel. I put the weight too much. So we're going to the Netherlands again. No, I think it's because I put you as 12 ounces. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. We're going to do this one more time. I like your address better, dog. I can vibe with this address. I like that name of that street, dog. It's like a character from uh, Lord of the Rings. Don't say it out loud. You're going to dox him, bro. Uh, P 
postcode. He's got a postcode. This cat's got a postcode. They see you, Clark, in the background, dog. Uh-oh. They're creeping on you. Okay, let's see what this costs to ship to Abel again. His address is just a joy to type in, though. It's, like, very minimalistic. I want to visit. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to be saying this weighs four ounces. I'm shipping a gift that is $8. And it's going to go first class. All right, lucky. $16.25. It was because I put the weight too high. So if the weight gets up there, see, I'm wondering if I have to go into the post office to do this, though. Extra services, privacy. Uh -huh. Okay. I could be the test pilot. We're going to have to see. We can definitely send stuff, but it's going to be interesting to see. How it goes. I, I don't know if they're going to make you stand in there. So it was a dollar more. All right. I think I'm good, guys. Thank you for watching. And then we'll try to get to your emails and all that. Right? Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching. eBay uh, and my website, too.